Hey there everyone and let's talk about regular expression. Now regex or regular expression before we even start talking about then let me say one more time. I know you have heard it quite many times but one more time. Regex is not at all the property of Java or .NET, PHP or Python. They are used by everyone and they are especially like in itself an entity and you can use them with pretty much anything and everything. There are subtle changes a little bit here and there but there are no changes at all in patterns. What the dot means in PHP exactly same the dot means in .NET. What the little caret sign means in Python it means exactly same in Java. So there's no exception there. So let me just prove my point here by opening up my web browser. So this is here you can see we have got two things PHP and, Py and Python. They are official manuals of them. Now here we can see in the PHP there is a thing known as prag underscore match where you can pass on a pattern and a string where you want to match anything. Now this pattern thing this is known as regular expression and we are going to be talking about that. Similarly in Python we have got this import re regular expression and you can just search for anything. Now this here the starting point is a regular expression or pattern and here it is where it is searching for the things. And this is what exactly we are talking about this mambo jumbo whatever that is written it's going to make all of the sense after the series of course so yes let's first get it out of the picture that yes they are not dependent on any language also this series is not going to be dependent on any language at all we'll be using so the next question is what are the tools that you can use to learn regular expression now there is no shortage of such tools they are available online offline in fact every language supported so let's talk about some of them which are my favorite I'll be using in this series but you have variety of other options as well. Now the number one reason that I'm choosing an online tool for this entire series is because a lot of people are on Ubuntu on Windows or on Mac and I wanted something where I can focus directly on regular expression and you can just fire up your browser can type a URL and can start working on that. That is the reason I'm choosing online browsers but again there is no shortage you can use any tool here. So let me just reload this regexr. Now regexr is one of my favorite tools to deliver sessions for regex or regular expression. Now again uh, there are certain reasons why I love it but there is no such compulsion that you have to use it. Now at first it looks a little bit cucumbersome but what you can do is close down this bottom panel. You can just shrink down this left hand side panel and there we go. And uh, there are a couple of other options as well. First let's talk about them. And the second one is regex 101. Regex 101 is the really most popular if you have gone through with any kind of industry training and everything. These are the things which are stable and has been here for a long time. A lot of people love to use them. But certainly there is no difference here. You can use it here or here. They are going to work exactly. And you can just write for PHP, JavaScript, Python or Golang. The only difference that it is getting here is sometimes it takes a raw input. If you are using for Python, for JavaScript, it's mostly two slashes. We will be sticking most of the time with JavaScript because that's the simplest one. But that exact pattern can be transformed into Python as well. No big deal. There are a couple of others as well. RegexPal. It's really one of the old one guy here. Uh, but again, still very popular. So you can use them. Also, you can just search for regex tools and can find a variety of others. My favorite happened to be regexr.com and we'll be using it throughout the course. Again, let me give you that simple example here. Here at the top in the JavaScript, you can see there is a JavaScript or PHP version if you want to run it like that way. And all these websites that I have told you here do support the flags. We will talk about later on what are these flags, but they all support global case insensitivity, uh, multi-line and all of that. Also regex 101 do support all these flags like global multi-line case insensitivity and all of that. So no big deal. My recommendation is just use these two regex 101.com or regexr. Okay so now this is set. If you want to use some other tools as well no problem at all. You'll be able to do all the things that I'm doing here on that tool as well. So these are the tools that we'll be using and now it is clear that uh, why and why we are using it in here. It is really great. So that's it for this video and in the upcoming videos we'll learn a little bit more about step by step processing about regex. So that's it for this video and I'll catch you up in the next one.